We just finished an entire series of books about ants, and I found this in my collection, so I thought I should probably add it. And you guys can decide, first of all, what kind of book it is, what genre, so you'll tell me if it's fiction or nonfiction. Some of you might even be able to tell you what type of subgenre it is. And then I want you to think about the author's purpose. Is it to persuade, to inform, or to entertain? Let's get started. The book is by Eleanor J. Pinches, illustrated by Bonnie McCain. I hope I said it right. Mm. A whole hill of hungry ants, their faces all aglow, came swarming from the forest to cross the field below. A soft breeze fanned the sunshine and whisked them on their way. It hinted of yummies for their empty tummies. That means a picnic, hooray! 100 ants were singing and marching in a row. We're going to a picnic, a hey and hi de do. Stop, said the littlest ant. We're moving way too slow. Some food will be long gone unless we hurry up. So with two lines of 50, then we get there soon, I know. All the ants raced here and there, up and down, to and fro. There'll be lots of yummies for our hungry tummies, a hey and a hi de ho. One hundred ants were singing and marching in two rows. We're going to a picnic, a hey and hi de do. Notice what's happening going on in the background. Stop, yelled the littlest ant. We're moving way too slow. More of the food will be gone, unless we hurry up. So, with four lines of twenty-five, We'd get there soon, I know. All the ants raced here and there, up and down and to and fro. We hope they're yummies for our rumbling tummies, a hey and hidey do. One hundred ants were singing and marching in four rows. We're going to a picnic, a hey and hidey do. Stop, screamed the littlest ant. We're moving way too slow. Lots of food will be gone, will long be gone, unless we hurry up. So, with five lines of twenty, we'd get there soon, I know. All the ants raced here and there, up and down and to and fro. There might be a yummy for a gurgling tummy, a hay and hidey dough. One hundred ants were singing and marching in five rows. We're going to a picnic, a, a hay and hidey dough. Do you guys see what's happening around them? Stop, shrieked the littlest ant. We're moving way too slow. All the food will long be gone unless we hurry up. So with 10 lines of 10, we'll get there soon, I know. All the ants raced here and there, up and down and to and fro. There better be, be, there better be yummies for our grumbling tummies, a hay and hidey dough. 100 ants were singing and marching in 10 rows. At last we're at a picnic, a hay and hidey ho. Stop, yip the littlest ant, we're traveling way too slow. There's no food for us to eat. You took so long with Rose. All the ants raced here and there, up and down and to and fro. There weren't any yummies for our growling tummies. A hey and hidey ho. I have to read that again because it's got a question mark. There aren't any yummies for our growling tummies? A hey and hidey ho? Oh no! 99 ants were swarming from each and every row in hot pursuit of one little ant who quickly turned to go. It's not all my fault, you know! What do you think the ants are thinking? Whose fault do you think it was that they didn't get any food? You'd have to convince us. I hope you enjoyed the story of 100 angry ant, hungry ants marched in a row going to a picnic. But were they too slow? Well, you already know the answer to that question. If this was a new book for you, you would have probably read this first, so it would have given you an idea about what the story is about. So again, see if you can tell me what genre of book it is, fiction or nonfiction. If you know the subgenre of 
what it is, that'd be fantastic. And then the author's purpose, persuade, inform, or entertain. I hope you liked it.